Hey everybody, so I just did a reaction to the PlayStation State of Play event that just happened a few minutes ago. So now that it's done, uh, let's take a deeper dive into uh, what they revealed and my thoughts on them. So let's get started. So the first, so the final thing is uh, first. Well, actually, I should say first thing. It's the last thing in the State of Play event. But let's start off with Final Fantasy 16 getting a release window in summer 2023. Now, as I said in my reaction video, I haven't personally played any Final Fantasy game. I was mostly raised up on sports games and uh, and shooter games. <laughs> Not much into that MMO, uh, that RPG kind of game, except for a small handful of other games. So I may give Final Fantasy 16 a shot. I mean, it looks it looks amazing. The graphics just look amazing, and just the concepts in there, just the uh, <laughs> ideas. The summons, especially the summons, those are the ones that I'm really excited about. The summons just look so amazing and so detailed. I love it. And now the first thing in the <laughs> State of Play event was Resident Evil 4 getting a remake. Now, similar to Final Fantasy, I never played a Resident Evil game. Though I have seen a lot of gameplay of it on YouTube, and I know a lot of people really love it. They love the games. And I'm really interested in seeing how this remake does, because I know a lot of people love the remake of Final Fantasy 2. Not a lot of people like the remake of Final Fantasy 3, so hopefully this will be an opportunity for Capcom to redeem themselves in their remakes and hopefully make Resident Evil 4 a really fantastic remake. And then Resident Evil Village, that was, <laughs> that was a big game that came out, and everyone was just, oh, Lady Dimitrescu, oh, oh, everyone just loved. People had just like some this <laughs> turn on for <laughs> tall women. You had Lady Demetrescu, then you had Sarathun. <laughs> it, it was hilarious at the time. And it still kind of is today. I'm pretty sure that there'll be a lot of people on Twitter <laughs> talking about her now. So, but yeah, they're going to be able, it's going to be in VR, PlayStation's VR 2. And I'm really excited to see that because I've, I not, haven't had that much experience in VR and PlayStation VR 2 with all that was revealed here I may be inclined to get one just to see what that's like now to be honest though, my PlayStation 5 is in my bedroom so I mean have been moving it to my living room but that's a sacrifice but that's a sacrifice I am willing to make in order to play this and the other games that's going to be in VR so Street Fighter 6 first game played now I'm not much of a fighter um gamer but I do play a lot, I did play a lot of Injustice in Injustice 2. Those games I absolutely loved. I loved all the all the characters in there. Superman and Batman and just all of that. I haven't played, I played a little bit of Mortal Kombat, but not a lot. Though I do love all the characters in there. I just, I love mostly the characters in all of the fighter games. Now Street Fighter is not a franchise I'm not all that familiar with, except for like a small handful of people. So, I may... I may pass on that game for now, but we'll see where it goes. Walking Dead wasn't really that interested in the Walking Dead games, to be honest. Now, Horizon Call of the Mountain, that is something I really, really like. So let me toast you guys down the memory lane real quick. I Back when the PlayStation 4 was still brand new, they were uh, showing all the stuff that's going to come with it, Horizon Zero Dawn appeared, and I was blown away by the concept. Of fighting robots with bows and arrows. <laughs> I I just loved it. And I love Aloy. I love the setting. I love the combat. I just love everything about that game. And I'm really excited to see it in virtual reality. I mean, it looked, it looked amazing in there. And I still, and I love Horizon Forbidden West. I should say that right now. I love, 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 love. Forbidden West. It's such an amazing game. I just love everything about it. The graphics, the story, the characters, everything. I just love, love, love. I can't get enough of Horizon, and I can't wait to see what this is going to be like. Along with that big update that they had, all that new, perform new performance mode, update performance mode, new ultra hard mode, new game plus mode. I'm really excited to just dive back into Horizon after seeing all that. And there's a little bit about that update right now. You get ultra hard difficulty, transmog, um, new game plus, new weapons and tr uh, plus trophies, and so much more. And I can't wait to just try that out. Callisto Protocol. That was a really interesting game. It kind of gave me sort of like 
Resident Evil. Like I, I know I say I don't I don't play much Resident Evil, but I've seen lots of videos and I know a lot about the horror vibes that it gives. It kind of gives off that mixed with sort of Alien and mixed with sort of Last of Us just because of the creatures. Because those those things look like those freaking creatures from Last of Us. I can't remember I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but those those things look terrifying, and I I really want to <laughs> try to take them all down in that game. It just looked. So creepy and so eerie. I love it. Then finally, Stray! The cat game. The cat game that everyone likes. <laughs> uh, I I just loved what, what was shown in there. It was so interesting. Like, you just have this, this cat just walking around in this freaking cyber city with every robot just like, Oh, oh no, get away! <laughs> I love it. It looks so good, and I like that it's... And one thing that's interesting is, like, this. It'll be free for PlayStation Plus Premium and Deluxe members. That is some PlayStation Plus, the new revamp version, I don't know if I will be fully on board with it, though. I mean, it does have a good library of games, I will say that, and that may be inclined incline me to get it. But right now, I just want to wait and see how it does. I mean, I may be inclined to get it just for the sake of getting this game, and maybe a few of the other games that are on there, but for right now, I'm going to wait and see how it all works out. And then Spider-Man Remastered going to PC. That's very great for all the PC players. Like, Spider-Man was such an amazing game on PlayStation enough. Now that's going over to PC, I'm really excited to see what the PC players will do to that game on there. Like, I can, I can just imagine all the mods and stuff that they could possibly do. I'm not sure if it will actually come true, but... It'd be interesting to see, like, how it'll play it all on PC compared to PlayStation 5, what the controls would be like, and will like, well, what will it feel like for people on PC to play this game, where it's like, you have to be, like, quicky quick with your reaction times to make sure you take everyone down, so it'll be interesting to see uh, what that'll be like on PC. And then finally, uh, No Man's Sky, going to PlayStation VR 2. Now, No Man's Sky, uh... <laughs> Is that a pretty interesting history to say at least? Now I was one of the I was um, interested when it first came out, when I first saw when it first was revealed. I should say I really liked the concept of all like exploring the vastness of space and seeing all these creatures from different worlds. I mean, it just it was just such an interesting concept, and then it kind of crapped the bed in the first go around, but. Over time, it's gotten better. It's gotten better, and I'm really happy that it has, because I always like a good redemption story. I like seeing games that start off, you know, struggling, but then coming back into something stronger. It kind of reminds me of Destiny, <laughs> another game that I really, uh, I really play a lot, and will probably uh, stream as well more often, now that I've graduated college. But, yeah, I mean, it's really amazing to see what No Man's Sky has done, and now that it's coming to... PlayStation VR 2. I'm really excited to see how that will turn out. And that's it. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching this video, and thanks so much for tuning into my live stream earlier. I will put, and uh, just make sure to watch the live stream. I put it in my YouTube channel. Give that a watch. I really appreciate it. And expect some big news coming soon. I'm really excited to see what I can do with this channel now that I graduated college, and I have that knowledge with me now, and I can't wait to apply that to my YouTube channel and more. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching again. Make sure to like and subscribe, and follow all my social media, my Twitter, and my TikTok for more information about upcoming videos. Until again, until then, guys, it's been, it's been a fun day seeing all this uh, PlayStation stuff go down. So, it'll be interesting to see how it all plays out once all these games come out. So, until then, guys, peace.